Well, I'm here at Camp No Art Girl Scout Camp with Bettany, the camp director. Bethany, tell me a little bit about uh, Camp No Ark. Yeah, so Camp No Ark has been hosting Girl Scouts on camp for residential camp since 1967, so more than 50 years. Yeah. The camp property was purchased with Girl Scout cookie money and put together with Girl Scout families, and it, the whole thing has been run and loved on for well more than I've been alive. It's a multi-generational <laughs> yeah. operation. Uh -huh. sure. Yeah. Well, you kind of showed us around camp here. You could see the history and you could you can see the, the fingerprints of generations touching this place. For sure. So like starting out with, you said the first, the first structure building, out here? Mm -hmm. The chalet, yeah. which was the, the dining hall. And now we can't imagine having a dining hall that small, but uh -huh. yeah. we hear they ate outside as well. Oh, well, so sure. That yeah. Well, that's camp anyway. Problem. Absolutely. But that's a really cool structure to start out with because it was uh, designed by uh, our beloved Arkansas architect uh, Faye Jones for the first building at a camp. You know, you'd think of the camp would just grow slowly and just have a little shack here and there and kind of build, build, build. But they went great guns from the beginning. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Girl Scouts don't do things by halves. So what are some of the special things about camp? We saw the, the new horse stables. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so horse program coming to Camp Noark is very new. Um, the history of Camp Noark has been outdoor living and, and group life skills and, yeah. and learning how to be excellent to each other and to yourself. Yeah. And singing, lots and lots of singing yeah. forever. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I saw at the mess hall there were uh, places to hang guitars and I mean, almost everywhere we've been, we've seen kind of a designated spot where this is where the singing happens. This summer is going to be a little bit different um, because of the whole COVID thing. Um, what was that about the drive-through camp? This kind yeah, of so this summer is a lot a bit different. Usually we're full of children um, and we're high-fiving and we're hugging and that's just not an option yeah, right, right now. But we know that everybody wants to come and be on camp. So we've created a drive-through camp experience where families will register for a time slot. And it's like the drive-through safari, yeah. except without monkeys getting on your car. <laughs> you, you'll get to have um, facilitated activities around camp and some self-led activities as yeah. well. Yeah. So we're very excited about cool. that. So so will there be kind of a station for the horses? Yes. Cool. Yes. So there'll be like horses and there'll be like a craft and mm -hmm. maybe a meal. A, a snack. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like the, the whole camp experience. In an hour. Taking the loop yep. in an hour. Mm -hmm. That's real. That's a really innovative idea. I love that. It's really we were cool. directly inspired by another camp. We can't take complete credit, but I think we're going to do yeah. it bigger and better than we've seen. You keep your your family of amazingness in your car. That's really Bathroom good. breaks as needed. We can we can facilitate yeah. that, um, and then fully staffed with amazing people all all the way around the drive, and lots of hidden adventures that you yeah. can see from your window. That's really smart. Mm -hmm. So you guys are up here in Northwest Arkansas, just outside of Huntsville, mm -hmm. um, but you serve girls from all over, from uh, Oklahoma, from Texarkana area, you mm -hmm. said? In the whole state of Arkansas. Yeah, okay. Yeah, our, our council is a small amount of passionate people spread out all over yeah. the state. And currently, because of virtual camp options, we've been able to serve girls from the entire country mm -hmm. as well. So I've been seeing that with a lot of summer yeah. camps, yeah. We're excited about that, but we want to love on our local state the most. Sure all of the work that we're doing to create content, um, it, yeah. it can still exist. And so we can reach, we can reach families who can't come to camp. Yeah, yeah. And we've, you know, we've got videos on hammock hanging, on campfire cooking, uh, you know, mm -hmm. that exists regardless of you coming here. So you can pick cool. up those skills and tr you know, treat your family to a backyard adventure mm -hmm. and then come back here. Eventually. Well, yeah, so like we talked about, uh, Girl Scouts the National, they've got a, a, a site online now the um, camp adventures at home and there's a virtual so marketplace so thing. families can choose individual options um, they range in prices some come with kits some don't yeah and every individual council is 
is doing what they can support well. So very large councils have robust things. Yeah. We are a small, there's there's two full-time people in the outdoor program department in this council. So we're focusing on ways that we can impact directly or things that can just exist forever yeah. online. Yeah, yeah. That's super smart to be, that's so sustainable to have something online yeah. that just lives forever. Yeah. Camp Newark is available for Girl Scout groups and non-Girl Scout groups to rent when we are able to open up again. Yeah. Uh, you can rent individual buildings or campsite areas. We have a ranger on site all the time. Okay. But beyond that, you have your little area to yourself. So it's a perfect way to social distance. Yeah, camp too. it's all really spread out, so that's very feasible. Well, so something I thought of is the chalet when we were over there. You could Airbnb that thing, yeah. you know, basically. Yeah. So you could, your family could rent that and have that that A-frame cabin uh, just to yourselves. And it close, That's really close cool. driving distance to Eureka if you want to yeah. go do a, a short town thing. Uh, it's like just outside 37 of, minutes uh, from Springdale. Our state park super here, close. and yeah. yeah, and Withrow is. Withrow two Springs miles State away. Park is yeah. super close. Yeah. Yeah. So you got Eureka Springs, Withrow Springs State Park. The Buffalo. Uh, you could. The Buffalo's mm -hmm. just a hop and a skip. Yep. Really good location. So as far as uh, events like like weddings or um, mm -hmm. you know it's anything you'd want to do, it's available to rent the facilities for that. Yep. Really cool. Yeah. Hmm. You don't have to be a part of the club. You don't. You don't. <laughs> there there is a price break if you yeah. are a registered Girl Scout. Mm -hmm. um, and beyond that, it's open to anybody who's going to behave. I love themselves. it. Oh <laughs> yeah. Right. Yep. Good point to yep. make. Yeah. Yeah. We like to clean up after ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> we will be able to offer um, midweek private riding lessons. A lot of that is dependent on what our state regulations and our council's yes, regulations we'll have to keep are. An eye on that. That's that's forthcoming, and eventually we know that that's going to happen and be available to everybody. Um, and then weekend riding workshops for Girl Scouts and non Girl Scouts. Well, cool. we, we really like to be able to serve our community as yeah, well. Absolutely. Uh, well, so how can we find out more about Camp Noark? You've got a, you've got a website. We do have a website. Yeah. Yeah. GirlScoutsDiamonds.org, and there's a camp tab and there's a properties tab, and we're all very good at the internet by now, so you can just <laughs> click around and see everything. And if you get lost, you can email us info at GirlScoutsDiamonds.org, and we will be happy to respond to any question. Cool. And I'll put that stuff down in the description too. Super. Yeah. Well, thanks, Bethany. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Only in Arkansas, for sponsoring this video. Life is what you make it. Let's get our hands dirty. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs>